Hello everyone, this video will be more of an informative one rather than a guide to anything itself. To start off, this account was my alternative account for experiments, but I ultimately became a solely deep nether tester. Over the course of the weeks, I've decided that from every scrap of bytecoins and I used gems I had, I could continue buying this account Blood Scrolls to push its way towards the Dark Sword. The run, or well, a walk wasn't going for a couple of months. It could have been finished in a week or so, but it wasn't really a priority and as said, only spare gems and bytecoins were used for the scrolls. Now that the run is done and the darks are obtained, let's move on to the questions. How long does such a run take? Even though it's kind of common to go well below 2 minutes mark in Deep Nether, let's assume that each run will take you on an average of exactly 2 minutes. 750 times 2 means 1500 minutes spent, which ultimately gives constant 25 hours of a grind. This is time spent on the successful approaches, so you'll have to add this every single failed approach to the count. Of course, the less failed ones the better for you, but be prepared to count at least a couple of hours of failed attempts and time taken to data quests, etc. Is it really profitable? Well, yes, uh, well, actually no. Or right, it might be. The prices were on everything, so the situation might be different at the moment. With the rare drops on the deep nether, it might seem like a perfect opportunity to get expensive items for free, especially that each run would already grant you with 10 nether embers. While some are lucky enough to get the drops on the first runs, and I'm looking at humors, it's rarely the case for most of the deep nethers. Just like the black tower, you are either bound to be lucky or to spend some time finding these. I myself was able to find 12 drops which I was able to sell for 40 warlocks. With at least 800 scrolls to go with to cover up the losses which I'd suggest to have as few as possible, you're looking to spend at least 400 warlocks or 200,000 bytecoins as scrolls are easily findable in Pixel's exchange for around 500 bytecoins each two scrolls. You could also spend around 800,000 gems on scrolls from the Nether Venor himself. Dark Sword ranges from 430 warlocks without secret base to even 480 warlocks during the event. Can a couple of extra gems from Nether quests that you should be taking during it? and the drops from the deep nether itself ranging from a warlock to even 20, spare scrolls if you've got some left and you really might make it with a sweet profit. Just remember that around 12-15% to of deep nether losses might already be on the edge of losing a couple of warlocks. How does it go EXP wise? Short answer, it's a super way of earning EXP. Each deep nether earns you 1500 EXP for leaving it via the exit portal, to which can add the EXP gained from the monsters themselves, which is an average of 12 to 1300 EXP, you can make around 2700 EXP each 2 more or less minutes spent in deep nether world. This itself adds up to 2,065,000 EXP for all 750 successful runs. Assuming that no matter how good one is, there is always a failed attempt, you could add at least 50,000 EXP and hundreds, hundreds, thousands of EXP from all the daily and clan quests, from which I've mostly taken the nether based ones. With all those side activities starting at level 1, I was able to reach level 91 with exactly 2,470,095 EXP gained during the run. Was it worth it? If one considers Deep Nether as a sole way of income, it might not be the best way. Even though it's one of the best EXP earning medals, having it possible to reach 40th level in less than one day, in the time of around 25 to 28 hours it is possible to finish regular Nether at least 250 times, with each run taking around 6 minutes and running around 212,000 gems, from which 25,000 would have already been spent on the Nether scrolls. Even though that is just one way of spending that time, I myself wouldn't exchange the time of my run to the time spent in the regular netherworld, just because of the satisfaction factor and the fact that there is one particular goal to reach, which in this case was a dark sword. So as a conclusion, would I recommend investing time and resources in a longer period goal like this? I surely would, if you're looking for a challenge, have some levels to make up, or just out of pure boredom. There are better, more profitable ways, but surely this one is a fun one, and that's why it's unique. Thank you for watching, see you next time.